Hi boys and girls, we're going to be doing 15-7, which is adding and subtracting and measurement. So this shape, you'll notice up here, this particular rectangle, we are going to measure it. So I'm going to take out my ruler. So you need to have your ruler out and you need to have your work mat. If you don't, take a few minutes and go get it so that you are ready. Okay, and then we're gonna use the centimeter side of the ruler, okay? So remember that when we measure, we put the ruler right up where the black line matches the edge of the shape, okay? And we me measure all the way across, we get nine. So I'm gonna put nine up here and CM for centimeters, okay? And this is a rectangle, so chances are this side is nine centimeters. And then we'll measure the other sides. So we're gonna put our ruler, I'm gonna line it up so that first black line lines up with the edge of this shape. And we get four centimeters. And so this side is also going to be four centimeters. So then what we would be doing is we would be putting four plus nine plus four plus nine. Well, if I add nine and nine, I get 18. So over here, I'm going to put 18 and four and four, I get eight. So 18 plus eight is 26 centimeters. And of course, I want to want you to make sure that you are stacking and solving as you're doing this. Okay. All right, so then you can pick another object. Don't forget to put your name on it. Another object from around the house. Sorry I have tape on this table and everything. You should see my contraption I have for, um, for doing math. Okay, so now I'm going to take this checkbook and I'm going to measure that. Okay. So, in fact, I'll move this out of the way and I'll put my ruler up on the centimeter side, right at the edge. And if you'll notice, can you see? It's right at about the 15, okay? So, I'm gonna put down, excuse me, check, book, 15 plus something. Now I'm going to measure the opposite side. I'm going to put my ruler up. Get this out of the way so you can see. At the edge and then all the way to this edge. So it is closer to 8. Okay. It's not close to 7 because it went past the halfway mark, it's closest to eight, so I put eight centimeters. All right, so eight plus. Now, since I've already measured both sides, um, I know what the other sides are gonna be, so it's 15 plus eight plus 15 plus eight. So 15 and 15, so I, over here I'm going to stack and solve. Can you see all my work here? Sorry, 15 plus 15. 30 and 8 and 8 you should know that is 16 so 30 plus 16 0 and 6 is 6 3 and 1 is 4 you should have gotten 46 centimeters okay so everybody see that I'm going to kind of move it up a little bit and hopefully it's in your view because again, this contraption I have is just crazy. All right, now I am going to do another shape. And we're going to do this napkin. 
So I'm gonna put the centimeter side on this, line it right up, and as you'll notice, if you can see that, it is 16. So I'm gonna put 16 centimeters here. That must mean that there's 16 centimeters here. And then we're gonna turn this. And this side is 14 centimeters and 14 centimeters down here. Now, if you'd like to do different objects around your house, that would be great. So we just chose, oh, sorry, this would be 26 centimeters here. This one's gonna be 46 centimeters. And then this one, we're gonna put napkin. So everybody please write napkin. And then we got 16 plus 14 plus 16 plus 14. So we're figuring out the perimeter. Do you guys remember us doing perimeter, discussing perimeter in class? Yes, it is adding up all of the sides. Okay, so over here we're going to add 14 and 14. Four and four is eight, one and one is two. And then we're going to add 16 and 16. 16 and 16. So six plus six is 12. Put down the two, carry the one. Remember, we're always starting in the ones column. One, two, and three. Now we're in the tens. So 32 and 28. So over here I can add. 32 is 28. 8 and 2 is 10. Put down the 0, carry the 1. 3, 4, 5, and 6. If I am going too fast, remember that you can pause the video at any time. Okay? All right, so now we're going to go into the inside. And today's lesson is, is all about about this measuring, about perimeter and measuring um, using centimeters and inches. So one side of this book is nine inches, the long side. And the other side of this book is six inches, the width of it. What is the distance around the cover, the whole cover of the book? Well, if this side is nine, then this side's going to be Yep, you guessed it, nine inches. And then this side would be, yep, six inches. So you can add the lengths of all four sides to find the distance around the cover. So nine plus six plus nine plus six. So you would wanna think, add my doubles, nine plus nine is 18, add my sixes, six plus six is 12. 18 plus 12 is 30, which is just how we did these over here. Okay, the distance around the cover of the book is 30 inches. All right, it says, how much longer is the teacher's arm than the child's arm? So the little girl measured and she got 47 centimeters. And I know you measured from before um, on one of our activities, so you should be um, a pro at measuring from your fingertips to your elbow already. This one is asking for the whole length of the arm, not just from the fingertips to the elbow, but all the way. And the teacher's is 66 centimeters. So you can subtract to compare to see how much longer the teacher's arm is than the little girl's. Okay, the, you can subtract to compare 66 minus 47. Okay, so remember when you're in the ones, more on the top, you gotta ask yourself those questions. More on the top, no, more on the floor. So go next door and get 10 more. Cross out the six, make it a five. Cross out the six, make it a 16. 16 minus seven is nine. Five minus four is one. The teacher's arm is 19 centimeters longer than the child's arm. All right. Now we're, what we're going to do is they've been really nice and they've already measured all this. Here, just a moment, let me fix my paper.
Okay, so hopefully you can see all this. Excusing my tape. Write a number sentence to help you solve each problem. What is the distance around the baseball card? So they measured and they got 10 centimeters here. So remember, if this is a rectangle and there's 10 centimeters here, what's it going to be over here? That's right, 10 centimeters. So if we have seven centimeters on the bottom, what are we going to have on the top? Yup, seven centimeters here as well. Then we're going to add all of those. 10 plus seven plus 10 plus seven. Well, right away, I am gonna do the doubles. So 10 and 10, what is 10 and 10? That should be easy for you, you did enough to do it in your head. Yep, it's 20. And then seven plus seven, there's a double, that's 14. So then I'm gonna add the one, zero plus four is four, two plus one is three, and my answer is 34. And you have to remember, we have to uh, label. Labeling is very, very important. All right, let's go to number two. Number two says, what is the distance around the puzzle? See, the top one was a picture. This one happens to be a puzzle, or the top one was a baseball card, excuse me, and this one is a puzzle. So you can measure about anything, boys and girls. So this one is 15 inches across and 12 inches down. So I like to label things and get them all ready for myself because it makes it easier. And we've already gone through that once this side figured out was 12, this side is 12, this side is 15, then this side is 15. So we're going to be adding 12 plus 15 plus 12 plus 15. So 12 and 12, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna stack and solve. And remember, it's important for you to show this, otherwise you won't get the points for it. Two plus two is four, one plus one is two. That's 24. Then we're going to add the 15s, those doubles. 15 and 15, so five and five is 10. There's not enough room, we're gonna put the zero down, carry the one. One plus one plus one is, that's right, three, so it's 30. And then I'm gonna make enough room over here to add 30 and 24. I'm gonna kind of squeeze that in. Zero and four is four, three and two is five. So it is 54, yep, gotta to remember to label inches. Oops, I didn't label up here, did I? Okay, so that one's 54 inches. Okay, is everybody following along? I hope you're keeping up. If not, remember to pause. How much longer is the red scarf than the blue scarf? Well, we know the red scarf is 60 inches and the blue scarf is 64 inches. So if we wanna find out how much longer one thing is than the other, just like the teacher's arm and the little girl's arm, we had to, what operation? Subtract. So 60 minus 45 equals, so over here I'm going to show my stacking and my solving and ask my questions. Is there more on the top in the ones? No, there's more on the floor. So go next door and get 10 more. Cross out the six, make it a five. Cross out the zero, make it a 10. 10 minus five is five. Five minus four is one. It is 15 inches longer. Okay, so down at the bottom, Um, it says, did you use the same operation to solve exercise two and three? No. Um, exercise two, we measured, whoops, the distance around 
the puzzle. Exercise three, we compared lengths of the scarves. And so we did not do the same operation. We added for number two and subtracted for number three. And we could put that. We added for number two and subtracted for number three. And you can go ahead and take your time. And if you need uh, more time, just pause the video and finish writing so that you write neatly. And hopefully you understand that this one we were adding all the way around and these two we were comparing sizes. We wanted to see which one was longer than the other. Okay, now we're going to the next one. And it says, write a number sentence to help you solve each problem. Ben measures the length of a leaf and a plant. The leaf is 15 centimeters. The plant is 57 centimeters. How much shorter is the leaf than the plant? Hmm. Are we measuring the distance around an entire object? Or are we comparing the lengths of an object? You're right if you said we're comparing. Just like up above, the length of their arms, we are comparing how long the leaf is compared to the plant. So we're gonna start with the highest or the longest at 57 centimeters minus the leaf at 15 centimeters. And I have lots of room to do this. So I am going to do it way over here. And I start in the ones. Is there more on the top? Oh yes, no need to stop. Seven minus five is two. Five minus one is four because I did not need to borrow, which equals 42 centimeters and you don't forget to label. Okay, has everybody got that, I hope? Okay, we're moving on. Number five, the picture is a square. Oh, it's a square. What do we know about a square? Hmm, each side is seven inches long. What is the distance around? So that's really easy, boys and girls. We can easily label our picture and get it ready. Seven inches all the way around. So then we set up our number sentence and just go seven plus seven plus seven plus seven. Well, seven and seven is 14. And another seven and seven is 14. So we start in the ones, four plus four is eight. One plus one is two, we get 28. Oh, I'm sorry, it's inches. You'll have to erase if you copied me. Okay, mine's sloppy, I don't want yours to look sloppy. Okay, and then down at the bottom it says, complete the number sentence to solve what is the length of the rectangle's short side. Oh, what is the length? Okay, so let's take a look at this. Well, this is 20, so they have 20 and 20. 20 and 20, okay. If I add 20 and 20, what do I get? Well, let's see. 20 and 20 is zero and four. We get 40, okay? Well, now I have to figure out what these are. Hmm. Well, they gave me a little bit more information. They gave me the answer, which is 60, which should be labeled centimeters. So the answer is 60 centimeters. So if I know all the way around is 60, I want to subtract these two lengths, which are 40, 
Zero minus zero is zero. Six minus four is two. So both of these are gonna equal 20, but I can't just put 20 and 20 here because all the way around would be 80. So this would be 10 and this would be 10 because I gotta split up that 20. So this would be 10 and this would be 10. So the short side is 10 centimeters. Okay, now we're going to go to the next one. Ashley's sunflower is 70 inches tall. Kwame's sunflower is 60 inches tall. How much taller is Ashley's sunflower than Kwame's sunflower? Write a number sentence to solve. Boys and girls, are we figuring the distance around an entire object or are we comparing the lengths of objects? You are right if you said you're comparing. Just like the plant to the leaf, the large scarf to the small scarf, the teacher's arm to the little girl's arm, we're comparing. So we're gonna start with Ashley's, hers is the highest in inches, and we're going to subtract, and we're gonna subtract the 60 inches. So if I take 70 minus 60, and I better see you stacking and solving on all these, zero minus zero is zero, seven take away six is that's right, one. So it's 10 inches. So Ashley's sunflower is 10 inches taller. Okay, so that was a comparing one, and now we're going on to what is the distance around the placemat. So we're figuring out that perimeter again. So if this is 17, what's this gonna be, kids? 17. If this is 11, what's this gonna be? That's correct, 11 inches, okay? They're the same. So what I'm going to do is add 17 and 17. What's seven plus seven? It's 14, I only have room for the four. One and one and one, it's three. So 34, then we're going to add the 11s. One plus one is two, one plus one is two, so my two numbers the length and the width. I gotta add those. Four plus two is six. Three plus two is five. And there we have 56 inches. You need to show all of this work if you're going to do this, okay, correctly so that you can get your homework correct. All right, this one says draw a rectangle. Measure the length of each side to the nearest centimeter or to the nearest inches. Find the distance around the rectangle. Okay, I'm gonna do one. It's not very neat, but there's my rectangle. So then I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna do it in centimeters. Oh, looky there, two centimeters. So if that's two centimeters, what's this gonna be? That's right, two centimeters. Now I'm going to measure from here all the way to here. And if you can see that, it's eight. So eight centimeters and eight centimeters. So then down here on the line, they give me space to do this. Two plus eight plus two plus eight equals. So over here, I'm gonna add two and two. That's four, eight and eight. 16, that's 16 plus four is 20 centimeters. All right, boys and girls, I hope that helps you. I hope you understand. And let's see, the code word to put on your homework page is Plate, plate. The code word is plate. So if you put plate on your homework, you will get a point for watching this video. All right, I'm gonna go through quickly to make sure 
that you understand. So give me a second. I know you're just looking at tape and a table. Okay, here's your homework. And it says you could use addition and subtraction to solve problems. So this one is a comparing. They're comparing the length of the snake to the little worm, okay? And notice how they start with the largest, which is 18 inches, and they subtract six to get the difference is 12 inches longer. Long, longer. Don't forget to trace this. Down here, they're asking for what is the distance around the flat surface of the game box. Finish labeling this side and this side. Finish doing your sentence here. And then show your work here or here. And then you should be able to figure out the distance around. So you're going to have to add 30 and 30 and 15 and 15 and then add them together. It says, did you add or subtract in exercise one? Well, what did you do in exercise one? They're even giving it to you. So you need to make sure that you say what you did. Oops, excuse me, boys and girls. Let's see if I can get that back into view. So you have to make sure that you say you added because you were finding the distance around the object. And so you needed to add it all the sides, the length of each side of the rectangle. Okay, so write that in a complete sentence. Make sure you explain that you were figuring out the distance around the game box, so you had to add all of the lengths of the sides to get the measurement of the distance around it. Okay, don't forget your code word up at the top. What is it? Yep, plate. And then the second page, what's the distance around the rug? So you're going to have to label and figure it and write it. How much shorter is the feather than the ribbon? Oh, we're comparing. So do we add when we're comparing? Hmm, ponder that question. And down at the bottom, which number sentence shows the distance around the cover of the DVD case? Please do not guess. Please figure out and by labeling these sides here and showing all your stacking and solving right here, and then you should be able to pick out which one it is. There's only one two, three, four, and five points for this. So boys and girls, if you get one wrong, you're already getting a B minus. You want to get all of these right today, so show all of your work, okay? All right, we'll see you next time.